what we have here is a PC running Mac 3 the output of which is coming through here and tapping off at pin 14 the pulse signal for the spindle motor which arrives here in this V4 board from DIYCNC.UK this turns the pulse signals into a varying voltage from 0 to 5 volts we use this signal to run into my comparator board <coughs> and we compare it with a signal di derived from the chopper disk circuit on the motor that is fed into the opto input circuit which again is a frequency to voltage converter and provides another note to 5 volt signal. This is compared with the signal that comes from the V4 board. Any difference in the signal between the motor and the V4 board is amplified and produces a signal to the motor drive unit that drives the motor. So what happens is if I try and slow down the motor which I can't, it's running at about 100 rpm, can't, we see on the oscilloscope that if I try and slow it down the output voltage of the driver increases so I can't I cannot slow uh, this motor down I can vary the speed of the motor with the commands to Mach 3 using the manual data input we can change the speed which is standing at the moment at 110 we can key in a thousand and the motor goes up to a thousand the voltage of course has gone off the screen there it is again if we try and slow it down again the voltage rises and I tear my fingers to bits This motor has a approximate maximum speed of whoops, 3000 so we can go from 3000 down to 110 whoops, wrong command S one one zero <clears throat> there it is controlling the scooter motor DC 24 volt scooter motor with a little comparator and feedback circuit. What we have there is a 36 volt power supply and that's a converted adapter for 12 volts. Power that and that. So there it is. That will all now be 
packaged up neatly and shoehorned into my control box. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.